What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're back on our free-to-play series that we're probably going to be turning into something a little fun. If you guys don't know our content, we typically try to stay away too much from doing like pure meta builds, because honestly, that can get boring at times, doing the same thing everybody else is doing. We're kind of going to try something different, and that's really going to come up soon here. Uh, we're probably going to try to see how far a pure summoner type team can go, like maybe even swapping like a damien into our main team things like that maybe even going for something really crazy and building virile as our first <laughs> celestial hydrogen not the best idea but he does have these little silhouettes that come out that do basically serve as minions as summons so Maybe we just go really crazy on this one. We have fun. We see what we can do free to play that isn't purely meta. And then we can kind of see how it stacks up. So the first thing a lot of people have been asking or been saying is that Floribel just isn't as good as Cessia. Uh, I want to say hands down, I've been testing them both at Legendary. In most situations, Floribel is better in the early game than a Cessia. I'll just 100% see it. And... Typically, and honestly, if you're starting on a brand new account, Floribel's easier to get because she's on the upright banner. The only time Cessia really shines more is on those waves that you go through that have like the multi waves, and there's just so many enemies on screen at the same time. Uh, her ultimate with Mr. Carlisle, it does do more damage overall, but in the majority of situations, Floribel teams are tankier, they're more versatile, and let's be honest, in all of these dream realms we've had. Whew, Floribel is so much better than Cessia. So, we have some summons to do. I've been uh, doing summons here and there, little bursts of them, but we have more diamonds, and we're going to get our guaranteed next copy of Floribel, which is going to push her back above Cessia. And then we also have some regular invites and epic invites. So, let's just start with this. Wait, should we? Maybe we should do all recruit first. Let's get these done first, because I kind of want to see if for some reason we can like high roll some Cessia copies here. That would be insane. Pre please, honestly, I just want Cessia at this point. Okay, all right, all right. Smokey. Smokey is a good one, and we got a Coco there too, so that's good. Uh, that puts him one copy away, I guess, from getting him up to Mythic as well. And sadly, we did not hit another legend there, but we got two corn copies which is really, really good. So yeah, that's actually awesome because now we are just one copy away from Smokey and Mirky, which it does seem like we'll have to use in quite a bit of different game modes. Next up, we do have almost a 10 pull in Epic Recruitment. I was trying to grind it out so bad. Our pity is technically 15. I don't think we would get enough Dolly tickets just from this summon right here. But either way, let's get our Floribel, and this should allow us to get her up to Mythic. And then we'll have to see how long it's going to take us to get to Mythic Plus, because Mythic Plus is when it gets really spicy with the Summoner team. So there we got her. We got yet another Corn copy, which are ha I'm happy with. And right now we have to pause once again, because we can't go further on Floribel until we get another Mythic hero. However, that kind of works out, because we did hit that Smoky copy, I think we can get one from the seventh day chest so this brings her up to legendary plus that gets her hero's focus unlocked and we can level that up one point real quick to get her as powerful as possible and then beyond that we can now supplement her and get her up to mythic so more power unlocked gotta love it and now two more copies which is gonna take a little bit of time but like i said technically we have one smoky and mirky now which is awesome because that means during this event right here oh no it's rowan i keep thinking of rowan in the i keep thinking smoky and mirky's in this one dang so we're gonna have to either get lucky on day seven here or like really lucky or we're gonna have to get some additional summons that end up being pretty lucky luckily though corin gets some upgrades and he helps us on bosses like necro draken which is awesome and then beyond that we still have some epic summons that hey we might hit a Smoky and Mirky. Oh, we don't have enough. I was like, maybe we'll have enough Dolly tickets to buy one more. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to decide. I might go for Burial here. We're halfway to it, and that could be a decision we make. I don't know. But let's see if we can hit anything with these nine summons right here. We still haven't hit Thorin or anything like that. I kind of hope sooner rather than later they come out with some sort of summoner tank yeah that would be kind of cool like floribel is pretty tanky as a warrior but still not that great 
<sighs> can we hit an early summon here just like come on just at least give us some a tiers a levels at least if not an s level here come on animation show me what i need show show me honestly at this point show me a smoky and mirky so we can continue summoning more floor bell copies and get her to mythic plus Got an A level, which is okay, Parisa. We're not really building her on this account or paying too much attention to her. So that's a little bit of a letdown. I think we're coming up to what? The end of our summons here? Probably a couple more, but it looks like we're probably going to go pity on the epic banner. One more. Come on, show me the golden beam. That's definitely not it. And do we have any more? One more. One more. All these green and blue beams are killing me, and that is the wrap. So, yeah, we got six more to go. To be honest, at this point, I kind of just hope we hit Smokey and Mirky. That way, we have another mythic hero. I mean, let's just do these single pulls. I, I, I don't know why. I'm feeling a little lucky, and if we hit something here, that would be absolutely insane. <laughs> I highly doubt we will. I really doubt we'll hit anything in these three summons. Oh, I thought there was like a little bit of pause. I got a little excited. Another OD copy. That is awesome. We are using and building him with all of our dream shards. And that's it for the time being. We're not going to spend any diamonds for the time being on this banner. We're going to kind of hold off and wait. Hopefully get ourselves another Smoky and Mirky. And then that would be amazing. OD does get leveled up to legendary, which is perfect. More damage from him, more PvE damage. That is awesome. As far as the story mode goes on our account right now uh we've gotten through like dark forest 2 and we're moving on to dark force 3 i believe our power level is pretty decent here as well we keep using a bunch of different lineups to make progression here uh and we do actually have a couple side missions to get more resources we have a couple town quests we need to finish here today to get that going so let's see if these are quick easy ones either way more hero essence is awesome we are still gated behind uh, the training manuals, but that is normal very early on. Then eventually that hero essence definitely becomes an issue. So what do we have to do here? We have to go get the pup, right? Yeah, we have to do this. If you guys have never done this one, this one's always interesting. You need to essentially ring the bell and they'll follow you. And you need to try to avoid anything else. But you also need to stay in the circle here. And then when you do come across something, you need to like re-ring the bell. And then he'll continue following you. Yeah, there we go. That That's literally the entire quest. <laughs> that right there gets us our, some good resources, gets uh, some A-level shards and stuff. So, yeah, we found a puppy. Awesome. I think there's one more we need to do here, too, and then we'll see if we can progress in the main mission. We were stuck on the little shadowy figure there, so we'll see if we can get that done. I think overall we're making pretty good progress here. Okay, this is the one that's like the flip card game, but it's not really a flip card. You just click it when you see this purple flower or whatever flower they show you. They try to trick you with similarly colored, oh, like that right there. <laughs> they try to trick you every time. They use similar colored items, and then when you get a couple of them in a row, they do this like special event where you click them as fast as possible, and then you get additional ones, and it just makes the timer go a lot faster. Boom, right there. And that's literally the entire event to get additional rewards. Easy, easy, easy. I don't know. That actually gives us an A level. Cool, cool, cool. Who do we get? Walker. We don't need Walker. I think that's like the second copy we've ever got of him. So it does upgrade him at the very least. Now let's see how our team is performing now that our hero is stronger. So we're going to go back into the dream realm. And one thing I found to be very helpful here is running Coco. I've been running Smoky and Mirky too just because, well, he is strong. I have been running Cessia. Although now I almost feel like I want to run Odie instead. But we'll take a look. Previously uh, on this fight, a legendary Floribel and a legendary Cessia were close in damage. Floribel winning out majority of the time in these battles though. Uh, and yeah, so having Cessia in here is nice because she does do a decent amount of uh, AoE damage with Mr. Carlisle. So does Floribel too. Her damage is seems to be much more impactful. We'll have to see how far we can get. I just got to this elite challenge which it does a ton of damage, which is why I slotted Coco in. But even having Coco in the lineup seems like it's going to be a little difficult to have, especially when these little eye bats pop up. They tend to shoot Floribel. But you can see how strong all these minions are. They act as a tank for her. Eventually, she will go down, but this is improvement. We already beat the first version of the boss. We're on to the second one. 
And this second one is very, very difficult. So we can almost honestly just try to run as offensive as a team as possible. Like literally throw you in and maybe not even run Smokey. And run someone like Damien so Damien stays up the whole time. Uh, and just try to get as much damage from Odie really early on. Damien, of course, will stay alive to continue to heal Floribel, which might be a good look. Cessia somehow managed to survive that as well. But he did lose his chariot, which means we're not going to get healing. Yeah. So he's sometimes trying to run these different heroes. Doesn't quite work out for your team. Not at all. Sometimes running the meta heroes is still going to be the best bet. And that's probably what we'll have to do for a little bit, at least until we can get a more powerful team. So what we could probably do is something like this. Run both Damien and Smokey and Mirky so that maybe this keeps going good. We're running Kruger literally just to get that little bit of uh, Shatter Armor up and going. Smokey's going to keep everybody topped off for this big blast. But even, yeah, I mean, sometimes it looks like a crit can just absolutely wipe out your team. That's why having Coco, even as a single copy, can be a huge benefit to your team. Because, yeah, the the the, the combo here just isn't working. We might probably rather run something like this with Coco. And maybe the Coco can keep our team alive if she gets an ultimate real quick. She does need to get that ultimate off, though. That's the biggest part here right before this eye beam so here it comes we just got that damage reduction off and that's pretty much the only way a lot of these heroes live although without smoky and mirky we're not getting great healing from damien which again damien just he needs to get higher up level before he starts getting better and yeah so going for the meta team is still going to be the progress but at least we've already beat the first version of this boss we're on to the second tier of rewards which is good and we're in the top 40 which i'm happy about especially since the server we joined was uh a, we were a little behind on day one which is a little bit of a downside and then we are about to go into what dark forest four we were previously stuck on this boss here we were actually having uh, an issue beating this Hypo Fiend. So we'll see if now with all these upgrades with the Mythic uh, Floribel, let's see what this looks like. Because this could be a lot of damage and hopefully survivability for her as well. I run a bunch of different teams. One of the ones I like running the most right now is pretty much triple support with Brutus, not even Entendre in the front. And when we're running this right here, we're still getting that Mauler faction bonus there. We're basically just buying time for Floribel just like we would normally on a lot of these battles with Cessia, except her single target damage and everything before her ultimate is just so much better. It's such a nice thing to have. We might still be a little too weak here, though. Maybe. We still got some heroes up. And again, the only nice bonus is having all these additional sprites up do act as a nice tanking feature but yeah it looks like we're still just a little bit too weak we can try running the same team setup with Cessia to see if she does anything different but lately it feels like it's been a worse setup running Cessia. just depends on the team you're going up against which is why i actually want to build both Cessia and florabelle on this team because they kind of do different things even though they fill a very similar role so this time we got mr carlisle come out we're probably gonna have to run this on manual the problem is the backline AoE is huge so that even if we're kind of winning at the beginning of this battle, once uh, Laika and the enemy Cessia get their ultimates off, it gets very, very sketchy. I almost want to run both of our support heroes at this point to see what we can do. We're going to run this manually. We're going to drop Cessia in the back row. We're going to run Coco. There we go. Maybe it keeps Carlisle alive long enough, but yeah, the AoE damage just really, really ramps up. So that's not going to happen right there. Let's try one other team composition. We're going to try to run a double Summoner with double support and Brutus still in the front row just because it's so much damage that we're seeing. So we'll try to get all the summons out, and then we'll try to run Coco. And what we could also kind of do is stagger some of this here, and then we can like try to get the CC out a little bit staggered we keep the sessi locked down but yeah eventually sessi is gonna get her ultimate off Ooh, it's so close we could probably manage to work this out later in the day once we get a little bit more of a, a levels on our heroes because yeah we just need probably a little bit higher up to get this done we do have some more resources though so we could give this a shot that does give our whole level up to 74 one more fight let's see if we can now maybe beat them and then get some additional rewards I think this is going to be the team that does win it for us, though. 
And again, let's turn all of these off onto manual. Let's see if we can get it done. Thessia, we want to lock down the entire back row. Then I want to try to lock them down again. And then I want to summon the Coco Shields. And then let's see if that's enough to get this going. Our summoners are still tanky, but no. That Leica active is brutal. We could try spreading our team apart as well, but then we're too far away from our Rowan, which I really hate, but that would help kind of counter. Like we could do this so that the AOE damage is not as significant. We can just run manual on everybody and see if we can hit as many people as possible, which we can perfectly. Everybody is nicely spread out. So again, the AOE damage should not be as bad. Something like that. Get hers off real quick before she goes down. Is that a difference maker? I don't know. Ceci is still pretty healthy. Florabelle is still alive too. And actually just separating them apart seemed to have been the difference maker. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me we're going to loot. We, we, actually, we actually lost that. We actually lost that to the starter hero. Oh my gosh. Velen just wiped the floor with us. So that's kind of where we're at. We'll continue pushing throughout the days and probably every other day or so. We'll give you guys a little update, especially when we're upgrading some heroes. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know how your free to play experience has been. Again, I'm pretty sure we're going to like transition this over to a full summoner team with support heroes and see how it works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time.